Here we will be going over quad recovery. So if you don't have this rolling stick, that is entirely fine. You can use a foam roller, you can use a water bottle. This stick is relatively inexpensive and it is a great tool, especially for travel. You're gonna roll out your quad in three different areas. So you're gonna get the inside, then you're gonna hit the top, and then you'll reposition yourself to make it a little bit easier to get the side along the IT band. When you go to do your IT band, you do want to try to avoid going directly on your IT band. You'd want to be rolling right above it and then possibly right below it, but honestly in this position it's harder to get below it. So think of going right above it. You'll switch over to the other side. We're applying whatever amount of pressure you need to in order to feel a little bit of muscle tension release. It might not feel great. We don't need to inflict pain but we do want to start to break up some of that hard tissue. I'm recommending anywhere from 10 to 20 strokes in each spot, whatever you feel you need. I kind of consider this a bit of a warm up before going into foam rolling, which can be a little bit more intense in my opinion. Make sure you're breathing as you're going through all of this. If we're holding our breath and creating tension, it's not any good. So as we get to a foam roller, I like to break the leg into three different parts, into thirds. So there's a section right above the knee, consider it like a two to three inch section. I roll there and then I do about five heel to butt pulls. That right there is the game changer for me. The rolling is again, kind of like the warm up, and then that bending, that flexion is really what gets me. Once I've worked that area, I roll up, again to another two to three inch section once i've rolled enough i go ahead and pull my heel towards my butt try your best to get your heel in as close as you can at first sometimes it barely even moves i finish right below the hip again a two to three inch section i am trying to soften the quadricep over the foam roller letting the tissue just soften as you're pulling the heel towards your butt make sure you're breathing again it gets really intense and we just need to breathe through it after this one we're going to go ahead and hit the area right above the inside of the knee for me this is always super super tender i try not to put too much weight on it so you can put most of the weight onto the other side of the body and really start to gently feel it out You'll see here I'm rolling with my knee bent. You can also try rolling with the leg straightened out in extension. Similar to that last movement where we did the leg in thirds and then went into that flexion and extension, we're gonna do that here. As you're going through, make sure you're breathing. That head down right there was definitely a moment of pain. <laughs> try to flex the toes back. Try to keep the rest of your body as relaxed as possible, which can sometimes be hard as you're supporting yourself. Then we're going to go into a single leg rock back. You're going to be very mindful of your knees. So that right knee for me feels fine, but if it didn't feel fine, if it didn't really like to go into that much flexion sitting back on the heel, I just want to be really respectful of that. That move right there is specific to getting into your inner thigh or your adductor. So now we switch over and we repeat everything on the other side. Again, we're breaking the leg into thirds. So we're first starting with that bottom two to three inch section. Once you've rolled about five to eight times, then go ahead and bring the heel towards your butt. Again, breathe. Try to relax the rest of the body. Support yourself on your other leg if you need to. Moving on up, a new two to three inch section. Rolling, trying to relax, trying to soften the tissue, telling yourself, this is good for me gonna allow my muscles to recover finding length throughout your neck pushing tall through your shoulders heel towards your butt breathing relaxing finding a little bit of a sweet release if possible rolling on up going to that final section again right below the hip two to three inch area Supporting yourself as much as you need to on the other side of the body if it's too intense. If it's not super intense, go ahead, go ahead and put a little extra weight onto that side. Same idea here, heel to butt. 
you might feel some like grindy sensations like the the muscles have resistance and that's okay you keep working through that from there we're going to go to the inside area right above the knee you're going to be rocking rolling on that glider or on the foam roller try to keep the toes active so flex the foot i don't know if my foot my foot's semi there we go now we flexed it perfect <laughs> rocking side to side and when you're ready you're going to go into the flexion and extension remember this can be super intense again head just went down signaling yes i am feeling this um only put as much weight onto the foam roller as you can right you don't need to be in excruciating amounts of pain it's not going to be comfortable but like nice gentle bits of movement so right here i actually forgot to go into the other single leg rollback but don't you worry I remember and I add it in at the end. So from there, we actually jump right into some hip flexor, psoas, and quadricep stretching, all based from this lunge position. So before you start in this, I want you to make sure that you are braced. So you should be squeezing the back glute. Your belly should be tight. We should not be going into overextension like that. We want to stay nice and condensed through your core. We're not looking to get as close to the floor as possible. Instead, we're looking to really extend and lengthen through that front side of, in this case, the right thigh. Reaching the arm up and then tipping over slightly to the left side will get into your psoas. From there, you'll reach back and you'll grab the top of the foot. Again, you wanna stay as braced as possible, so no low back extension. Keep the shoulder down, breathe, active stretch. So really squeeze that glute. We'll switch on over to the other side. Again, starting off with square hips, actively pressing the back leg, top of the leg, so the shin and the foot into the floor, squeezing your glute. When you're good here, you're gonna settle in. After you settle in, reach that arm up. So in this case, the left arm reaches up. You might feel enough of a stretch right there and not even have to tip over to the right, but if you need to, slight tip over to the right. Breathing, staying active, lengthening. From there, you're gonna reach back and grab the top of your foot. Now, if you can't grab the top of your foot easily, you can always use a band, looping a band around the foot and then grabbing the excess um, of the band, bringing the heel towards the butt in that manner. Perfect. That felt amazing. From here, we're just kind of giving the knees some love. So if your knees are achy, there's a solid chance that your quads could also be really tight. So here, just leaning back, just kind of exploring what's going on within the knee joint. Of course, if anything here hurts, we don't do it, right? From here, we are gonna pop up into a downward dog, just to give the posterior chain, specifically your hamstrings and your calves, a little bit of love. When you're in your downward dog, try to drive your heels towards your floor, towards the floor, spread your fingers out, push tall through your shoulders and breathe. This is where I remember I forgot the single leg sit back. So we go into this. Again, our target here specifically on this side is to um, lengthen the right inner thigh or the right adductor. We're rocking back and forth, whatever feels good, really trying to anchor the foot to the floor, the right foot to the floor, and really opening up our hips. Do this until you feel like you're satisfied. And that is all I have for you. This was about eight minutes long and now you are done.